Excuse me for sitting down during this presentation. I just had surgery on my left knee the other day and I'm not very stable uh, standing up still. So imagine with me for a minute that your young child has become extremely ill and you just received news from their doctor that they need an organ transplant in order to live. Now imagine with me that there may be where you are, maybe in your community, there are viable organs that are there that nobody is using, and they're just not available. Maybe the person that had the accidental death um, down the street just didn't know about the shortage, or maybe they knew that there was a shortage, there was something they could do, and they just didn't know how to become a registered donor. This is a huge problem in the United States. And we all should take action to hopefully prevent people dying without viable organs and possibly, you know, save lives. Uh, first of, uh, today we will be covering the shortage of organ donors, registered organ donors in the United States, and also how to become a registered organ donor in the United States. Now... The main source that I was able to find on uh, becoming an organ donor and statistics and our, all kinds of information, just a wealth of information, is organdonor.gov. And according to organdonor.gov, there are currently 119,000 people in the United States currently on the National Transplant Waiting List. <clears throat> And according to DonateLife.net, 8,000 people die annually in the United States because they never receive organs. These are people that are on the transplant waiting list that their ticket just never gets called. They never make it to the top. That means that every day, on average, 22 people die waiting on organs, on viable organs, and these are people, like I said, that are on the waiting list. Now, according to americantransplantfoundation.org, a new person is added to this list every 10 minutes on average. That means every day, for on average, 144 people are added to the National Transplant waiting list every day in the United States. This is a huge problem. Now, the second main point I want to make here is how to become an organ donor. And I know for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, I really uh, just, all it took was me thinking about my kids. I mean, what would I want somebody else to do? If I had perfectly viable organs that could save some child's life and I had an accidental death, what would, I mean... Of course, I would want my organs to go to that child or person, anybody really, to save their life and hopefully help them live a long and meaningful life. Now, like I said, organdonor.gov is the main source for all this information. And you can go there and become a registered organ donor. And uh, it's very, very easy. Uh, if you're 18 years older, no matter what your ethnicity is, you can sign up to become an organ donor. If you're under 18 years of age, <clears throat> then you have to have a uh, parent or guardian's uh, permission to become an organ donor. Even people with AIDS can become organ donors for people with AIDS. I mean, there's all kinds of um, great information on this site on uh, becoming an organ donor. One organ donor can save up to eight lives. That's according to MedlinePlus.gov. That's one person can save up to eight lives. Imagine if we were all organ donors and every accidental death or maybe um, natural death, there was viable tissue or viable organs that people would use. There wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a transplant list. I mean, there would be, but it would be uh, cleared out every day in the United States. This would not be an issue. If you're not currently registered, as an organ donor. I beg of you, please consider becoming an organ donor. And uh, like I said, you can go to organdonor.gov um, and become an organ donor. Um, you could save, I mean, literally, you could literally save your own child's life. You never know. 
Um, today you've heard about um, the shortage of registered organ donors and organs in the United States and also where to go and how to become uh, a registered organ donor. Um, hopefully with the information I've covered today you will make that decision to make a difference and save lives. Um, it may not be you, maybe it's uh, your spouse or somebody. Maybe you need to show them this video to really, I mean, people don't really think about this stuff a lot. Um, but like I said, hopefully this video has given you the information you need to go ahead and make that decision to make a difference. Thank you.